Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death in World of Warcraft Hardcore. It is time for Saiken Plays uh, the Frost Mage to continue its journey. This time in the beautiful uh, Sepulchre area. Uh, we are going to uh, explore the Silvery Mountains a bit more and have quite a few quests actually. So off we go. But before we do that, let me set up the water and the drinks. I forgot to mention the last time that we have joined a leveling guild. I don't intend to do much with it other than... Maybe having a bit easier access to um, dungeon groups. Other than that, we're pretty much doing this survival challenge all by ourselves. And our first quest is going to be to kill a couple of these moon ragers. Uh, they are just the entrance quest for even more work related stuff which ultimately culminates in the shadow thing uh, keep at the end of the day other than that we have a couple of grizzled uh, grizzled hearts so bear hearts that we would need to get from the grizzlies Got the first grizzled heart. We're going to do a bit of questing here. Then I fast forward. As always, I want to uh, kind of keep the format to maybe one to two episodes per uh, questing area so that you don't need to sit through hours of me just grinding uh, mobs. These grizzlies have quite a bit of hit points. Anyways, what else do we have on the agenda? So we got the grizzled hearts and then quite a bit in the north. A couple of quests that we need to do there. I intend to do all of them in one go. Man, bears just have too many hit points. Even leveled bear and it takes me three quarters of my mana to just go through him. I'm out of range. It's time to get the spell elixir. Good. I think I'll fast forward the rest of these two quests and then we're moving northwards. All right, we moved to the north and are still on the grizzly quest, but we got a nice further trade in here. And with that, also the option to get the essence of Night Lash there. What now? Farewell. I haven't got all day. Very good. So we need grizzly hearts and need to go on to the dead fields. The latter one might be a bit more problematic. I need to get closer. I can't get it's just 
specifically since uh, these Ghoul have an immobilization. I don't like to fight against that. Good, the idea is we're making our way towards that field from the back. Kind of sneaky back entrance, and we just find... Nah. I was hoping we would find a great new armor, but that is not the case, unfortunately. Continuing to hunt the bears, and right here should be the field that we're looking for. Very good, bears are almost done. to fight two of the bears I'm out of range. I don't think that they are social so they shouldn't be joining both Good. One more bear, and then we can finally make it on to the field. I can't cast that yet. As always, still not successful. Good, we're going to uh, get the other bears here on the side before we're going to the field. Really want uh, that quest to be done. Fast forwarding that a little bit for you guys. Perfect, the bears are finally done after a while they decided to give in. But now, We have the problem with the fields here. Nice, these guys are dropping uh, better healing potions than the ones that I currently do have. Fabulous, so let's make our way to the center to get the quest mob. no mana potion I prefer exiting combat just 
regaining mana and health and then re-entering. No point in dragging it out. We currently don't have a great mana regeneration. It just is what it is. Good. Re-entering the death fields from here. Spotted the chest, which might be helpful for us. Alright, give me a big fat loot item. Well, two mana potions. Uh, that, indeed... Also good a good find. We can use the fence here in order to kite some of them. The melee mobs. she de despawned. That is unfortunate. All right, maybe on our way back. In the meantime, let's do the recipe of uh, death quest. Okay, so we've moved to here and that's the first dangerous area or really dangerous area that we've uh, come across because the son of Arugal is here. She's an elite mob patrolling uh, the area. My memory serves me well. It's level 20, 22 ish. So definitely would eat us for breakfast. Our job, on the other hand, will be to just not get anywhere near him far away. and stay far far away Fabulous, got a nice little fisherman here. Let's just trade with him. Cool, someone reached level 60. Good job, man. That was the sound of success. We're trying to be safe because the son of Arogal is somewhere out here. And given that uh, the hardcore servers aren't as populated, the chance of anyone just randomly slaying him is quite low. Which means I need to assume that he is up and out there. I think I'll also kill the bear. Because 
I don't want anyone to add whilst we are fighting. Question is, do we need to get in there? I think we don't. There might be a named spider in there, but to be fair, I couldn't care less about that. Good, we're fast forwarding a little bit because I need to grind out the spiders. All right, we're back. There is the son of Arugal. I marked him and if you know where he's patrolling then things aren't as bad and uh, markings really can help your cause that's the only thing that can severely injure us okay no no he's coming this way not good And by severely injure us, I mean probably is going to kill us. Since I don't have an ice block yet. I cannot see how I would... The only chance that I would have to get away from him is essentially Frost Nova. And if that is resisted, then it's pretty much GG. And I wouldn't want to risk that. Good. The, the additional quest that we need to do is uh, there is still Night Lash up here, which we're trying to do right now uh, by killing enough of her minions. I need to get closer. And then afterwards, uh, there is another named character that we need to get down. Good. Let me fast forward until I spawn her. All right. In all of the anticipation, I unfortunately started recording too late when I have gotten her already down. Son of Arogal still uh, running around here. Got to be careful uh, as we don't want to be his next victim. There is Ivar's hat, which is the next the next quest Good. Close fight for the resources here. Continuous mobs that are spawning around them. All right, I'll move to the uh, next quest and we'll fast forward in the meantime. All right, we're zooming back in as we are now going to get either the fowl's head.
Just need to clear uh, this building and then we're ready to go. The fences here will give us good momentum because we can kite the ghouls around them. Oh, come on. Slowly but surely, Frostbolt becomes a viable alternative. The problem is it's still one rank behind the Firebolt. And we haven't skilled deeply enough into it yet. It'll become really good soon. Specifically with the ability to crit often. But yeah, that's a few levels away. I am considering going um, deep into, into the frost spec, just so that we're staying safe and at the same time dealing a lot of damage. I'll take the wonder, uh, wandering ghoul first. Come on, man. Thank you. Good, and now we're slowly moving our way into the building. Gotta watch the respawn in the meantime. I need to definitely go uh, to a merchant very, very soon. Alright, let's nuke Eva the Fowl down and then get out of here. Just the de uh, de leashing this guy. Okay, fantastic. Eva the Foul is dead. I can't and all we need to do is take Eva's head. Very good. Let me trade in the quests and then we're continuing. What is it? Victory for Sylvanas. Embrace We're still shadow. only getting mediocre loot. Anyways, going uh, into the Sepulchre outpost. And then maybe we can even get to level 14. Let's see. If we're trading in the quests, uh, level 14 would be fantastic. Uh, time to trade in uh, the uh, remaining quests and also cook some food and once we level up I definitely would want to get frostbolt upgrade I'm listening Try 
trust no one. I am forsaken. Nice, that's a pretty decent upgrade. Be quick about your business. Plus, we got ourselves three mana potions overall. Uh, we don't need uh, the elixir of line uh, strings. I think that is something that we can sell and for someone are. else. Or to someone else. Very good. Let me trade in. We don't want to use uh, the ferry here, not yet. That's the follow-up quest and I think what we would want to do is recipe for death and get our stuff in the Undercity. All right, we are back in uh, Sepulchre and I think we're just gonna go a little bit further south in order to trade in our quest. Plus, get the new ones. There's an elite area down here where we potentially won't be able to do the quests, I don't think, uh, that easy. But uh, other than that, we should be fine. So, fast forwarding um, until I can trade in the quest. Before we go there, though, we do have one quest here, Orgrail's Folly, uh, where we just need to get into the house. Oh, and good news. I got the upgraded version of uh, Frostbolt, so we now are rocking Frostbolt rank 3. As you can see, it's hitting for 60 plus damage. Which also makes our life way easier. So, what we need to do is... Kill Orgreal. Is that an offhand? Nice. Just in case we're ever getting a one hand. That's a decent offhand. Oh, it was a stash of books. Well, still okay. Good. That solves uh, this quest. Since we were quick enough, nothing respawned. Perfect. Good. Next stop, we're going to hand in the ferry quest and then we're going to go all the way down. Uh, I think we're not going to do the, the elite quests unless we're finding one or two more players uh, to do them. Very good. We're at the pier and I think uh, that is the Too quest away. to get over 
to here. Nah, it was just a preparation quest. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, we're moving on uh, to get this quest going, and I think there is a little quest up here as well. Okay, so I just went shortly back and traded in the quests, and there are a couple of follow-up quests. Arugal's Folly and uh, the Dark Soul Shackles. So that should be very much doable. Uh, whilst we are then moving down here, we could also do it up here. But there is the son of Arugul, um, uh, the son of Arugul, that is patrolling there, and I have absolutely no desire to meet uh, that guy again. So we're just going to go here and do the quest. And as always, I'll do the first couple of pulls and then fast forward for you guys. Lovely to see how these guys still resist spells that often. I know it's just a 1% chance, but it seems to be quite frequently a 1% uh, resist. So, our targets are over here, the Moon Ragers, and we just need to get into a good spot where we can start pulling them. Might be a double pull, so better be careful. Maybe not. Good, we could of course go into the mine, but yeah, we could also not do that. Nice, another player has reached level 60. Tonight we already had three people doing that. Fantastic. shackles and we need the other ones wonderful good just needing to get some mana a couple of ticks Ready 
Very good. So, I think I will fast forward a bit more as we are getting the shackles and the gluten shackles. Okay, so we're at our next quest objective down here at the border crossing. Took a little bit longer to get to the Dalaran crate. I think we gotta play it a bit safer. Alright, this does not provoke aggro. So much for not producing aggro, eh? So we're going to try that again. This time with a little bit more dampen magic on us. Let's pull this guy out as far as we can. I'm out of range. Fabulous. Cast that yet. Much better. Can't really go up against two casters. Not with our equipment. to see if that triggers it does not it's another single pull yeah they hit hard In case you're wondering why there is a group, I am in parallel trying to already organize the first dungeon group for Ragefire Chasm, but that might take a little bit. them come out of range. Still recharging. good almost there I can't carry anymore Just want to make sure that this guy does not aggro from the side. Inventory is full. Hmm. Where is the crate? Here, okay. I can't carry any more. I need to get closer. Hmm. 
very good. So that concludes our business with uh, the Dalaran Mages for now. We're going to go back and trade in all of the quests and hopefully we're going to find someone for uh, Ragefire Chasm. Time to hand in our quests and we just dinged level 15. Gosh, we have such bad equipment. Unbelievable. All right, so not only have we leveled to level 15, which in itself is great, um, we got a couple of new quests. Number one, remember that cave that I really didn't want to get into? Um, yeah, we gotta get the boss out of that cave. Great, eh? Then a couple of Dalaran Pandans, which I think should not be a big problem, and a couple of group quests, which I likely think we're going to skip. So we'll start with pendants and then move to get uh, the null boss. And we'll just take it from there. Okay, time to put up our big boy pants. So for starters, we want pendants. Isn't ready yet. And they are not easy to get by. So we're starting with that, the Delarun pendants. And afterwards, we're going to go into the uh, little cave there. Luckily for us, some of uh, these guys are melee. And that just makes it easier for us. Not that I don't like casters. But casters in the open, not a great thing. I love to line of sight them whenever possible. I remember there were a lot of quests with the Dalaran uh, faction. This is just the starter for a long, long quest line. And I also remember that after my first character in original World of Warcraft, I never had to level just with basic gear. Because you could very much twink and get proper gear. So yeah, we need to play a little bit less aggressive than I would normally uh, play since hardcore really requires you to be extra careful. Counter spell would be fantastic.
careful, there's a patrol. I'm not 100% sure if these guys were elites. They were not, but uh, I would still put them on the radar. Oh, look at you. Fantastic. That's a pair of uh, mm, leggings that we could use. Very nice. I'll fast forward it for you because all we need is Deller and Pendants, so I'll just keep grinding these guys. Okay, so we're done with collecting and now it's time to really put up, uh, put on our big boy pens because I will be going into that mine. And as much as I don't like the idea of it, we need to get uh, through the entirety of it in order to finish the quest and I told myself I don't just want to grind and play safe we're going to go into a couple of uh, regions where we are at risk that's part of the challenge Good. In the meantime, I think we're going to go for Improved Nova first, because I really want to reduce the cooldown. Oh, it's such an important one. I need to get closer. And I also think that I will do the entire cave uh, in one recording, because this could be an interesting fight. Also a good lesson of how to work in close quarters. So the idea would be leave these guys here alone. And we're just clearing that entrance, including the right hand side, because that's our escape route always have an escape route by not clearing everything uh, we are reducing the chance of so-called hyper spawns to come in where all of uh, the enemies all of a sudden at once are respawning that was a mechanic introduced in world of warcraft classic um, simply uh, simply to make sure that the players are having enough monsters so once they were cleared essentially sufficient monsters respawned at the potential exp uh, ex uh, expense that from time to time a player would uh, get caught in the crossfire but that was the lesser e uh, evil. So that's how hyper spawns came about. And for normal World of Warcraft, when you're playing softcore, it absolutely makes sense because you don't want to wait uh, for the entire cave to slowly but surely respawn. It was bad enough at release date when many people were just fighting for the few mobs that, that were available. So naturally anything that could make the situation better uh, was taken into consideration. The problem with hardcore is that hyper spawns are an actual killer. And it's even worse in locations 
like caves because I have no option to escape, which is why I popped a couple of our uh, cooldowns, increased the armor rating there, potentially will increase even a little bit more armor rating. I'm not sure if that sticks. No, it does not. of the game now is clear the cave as fast as possible and as consistent as possible don't run back keep mana just in case something is happening and keep cooldowns just in case something is happening Good, the cave system doesn't seem to be super deep. Let's move in and out and be done with it. in the pale that's the guy that we need to kill Good, we got cooldowns still left over. I need to be careful. Uh, Frost Nova is our only really defensive cooldown at this point. And that's the guy that we want to kill. So let's hurry up, Saiken. No time for extra shenanigans. by far the most ridiculous time for to have a full inventory. Good. I'll just wait the one second to get Frost Nova back and then we're out of here. Perfect. No spawn has happened and we do have an exit route. Good. Things are going according to plan. All right. So we have arrived in the under city and uh, given that uh, Silverwood Forest is currently not providing really good alternative quests, uh, uh, the next ones as you can see are ranging from levels 18 to 22. Uh, that's always a good sign to look out for alternatives and I do have just an alternative which is the barons so we're going to go over and explore another region but it's also an option to maybe get a group for rage fire chasm unfortunately mine didn't work out and we will be uh, trying again tomorrow and in the next episode thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the diaries of death so far um, see you in the next episode bye bye